All right, so as you can see, uh, we have lost the two eyes uh, for the limited uh, on this Cherokee uh, travel trailer. And so I just want to do a quick little video uh, to hopefully help you in uh, understanding what you need to do if this were to happen to you. Uh, I didn't hit anything. There was nothing that I did that caused this damage. Uh, these things were not properly uh, stuck on to the front of the trailer. And so uh, they flew off. So the first thing that you need to do uh, when something like this happens to a trailer, something that's supposed to be stuck on or there's caulking that comes out or plastic that's flapping in the wind that shouldn't be, uh, the very first thing you should do is first of all pro pull over, uh, get to a safe place so you can further examine it. Uh, what happened for me on this situation was I looked in my side view mirror as I was just going down the highway and I look and I see, huh, that's not a word, uh, L-M-T-E-D, uh, that's not a word, so that's a problem. And so I uh, pulled over and said, oh, yep, there's there's the deal. Uh, the two I's are gone and the M is actually uh, starting to, it was starting to curl up and, and probably fall off uh, in the near future. So uh, this is a situation where you need to immediately call uh, your company. Uh, you call them first and tell them, here's the situation. Uh, if there's a damages department, uh, or just call your, your dispatcher uh, at the very least to inform them, hey, here's the load that I'm on, here's the situation, and uh, here's, I need further instructions. Uh, they need to tell you exactly what you're supposed to do. Uh, so until then, you need to simply wait. Uh, that stinks sometimes, you're burning your clock, uh, but uh, they may call and tell you, hey, uh, we don't want this unit going to that dealership uh, with it being that banged up we want you uh, to bring this back to the yard uh, you'll be getting paid uh, to the to the distance that you drove to uh, on the way to the delivery uh, as well as uh, sometimes getting paid to bring it back uh, so essentially you are going to be uh, having to do one of those things either continue on bringing it to the dealership and they will notify the dealership ahead of time, uh, hopefully, uh, so that they are well aware that you don't show up and they flip out on you and say, oh, that's driver damage. It, it's already been dealt with through, through your company, uh, through Synergy, and uh, there's no explanation that has to be had. The dealership will just accept it and they already know that there's going to be work that needs to be done and they get to be paid to do it. Uh, so they will be happy about that. But uh, so for you, uh, if something like this happens to your trailer, uh, something that breaks off or slides off or the wind just knocks it off like these little letters, you need to make sure that uh, you address it with your company. Don't, don't wait until you get to the dealership uh, to be able to say, hey, there's a problem. Oh, by the way, it happened while I was driving. Um, even if that's true, and that's, that would be the truth, um, it, it leaves a whole lot more uh, questions for them to ask well why didn't he say anything to his company why, why wasn't this did he just notice this now when he pulled in what what's going on here uh, and so uh, for you to immediately address it that's the that's the best thing to do so what I have done here in this situation uh, I took pictures of it uh, I called my uh, dispatcher he said to email the damages uh, guy at synergy and so I just did I emailed him all the pictures uh, different angles of it and just told them yes the the two eyes and the M is about to fall off it was kind of flapping in the wind and uh, I'm waiting for further instructions I just said call me when when I have instructions I'll be parked right where I'm at and uh, the unfortunate thing is it, you just need to stay where you're at uh, because the truth is you could be wasting your time and fuel continuing to drive to the delivery uh, when they actually want you to bring it back uh, there are some instances with a brand new model or uh, it's a delivery that has to be made uh, where uh, it's going to be going straight to the customer and they're not going to have time to fiddle around with getting these things figured out. Uh, another trailer would just have to be designated uh, to be sent to that dealership and uh, to make that work. So uh, this is just kind of a, a of an ugly side thing uh, that it does happen. It's not very often. Uh, these these trailers are pumped out so quickly 
and uh, there's not much uh, we can really do about these things that just come off these trailers and uh, with some of the trailers not being made the best and so so hopefully this was a help to you in uh, just talking about what you should do uh, if you were to have anything like that go wrong on your trailer that you are delivering uh, communication is the best way and so communicate with your company they will communicate with the manufacturer with the dealership everybody will be on the same page you just unfortunately have to wait in the meantime so I'm gonna wait here uh, I'm gonna be on duty not driving just hanging out here I might even take a 30 minute break uh, depending on how long it takes here and uh, just kind of hanging out and uh, seeing what's going on but uh, I'll be waiting for instructions and uh, we will uh, be back on the road hopefully either way whether I'm bringing it back to the uh, manufacturer or uh, to the dealership despite uh, this minor minor you know little problem with the lettering and uh, I will give you an update uh, a little later on with what actually ended up happening all right guys so I just got done talking to Synergy uh, on the phone and they said that they let Forest River know uh, exactly what was going on with the decals uh, with those eyes missing and uh, they said to keep on going to make the delivery and uh, that's no problem that'll get, be handled later on and uh, that's not my my problem my damage at all so uh, anyways hopefully this is a help to you just kind of get a picture of what can happen out on the road and to instead of uh, you know maybe getting scared or a uh, concerned or worked up uh, just communicate with your company uh, find out exactly what the deal is and uh, you'll be able to uh, get things taken care of hopefully quickly uh, this was about a um, 45 minute uh, shut down on the side of the, the road here uh, I'm at a truck stop so I just took a 30 minute break so I ended up just having uh, lunch here at this uh, truck stop and uh, their uh, credit card machines actually stopped working uh, with the internet connection I guess and so uh, they ended up giving me some free food so uh, this was kind of an interesting stop this kind of stuff doesn't really happen but uh, I got some free food I'm gonna come back tonight they said don't worry about it but uh, I'm gonna come back tonight and uh, pay them what I owe them for the stuff that I couldn't buy uh, that they gave for free so uh, me and mr. Ryder here we are gonna get back out on the road and uh, get going at it so so go ahead and like and subscribe if this is the kind of content uh, that you are interested in seeing uh, and hearing about, about the RV transporting industry. And uh, let me know if this has ever happened to you. And hopefully you don't actually have to go through this kind of thing uh, yourself. But if in case you do, uh, there's a certain procedure that probably every company has. Uh, but this is just kind of a little picture insight into how to go about it. So uh, with that being said, hope you guys are having a great day today. Stay safe and God bless.